everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about the Hourglass Curator eyeshadow collection that they just launched. Now, I had absolutely no plans on buying this collection. The price tag is so absurd and ridiculous and borderline insulting that it was not even close to being on my radar. However, I had many people on Instagram, few comments on my videos asking if I was gonna buy it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have followers out there who are actually interested in this collection. So I decided to spend the money, buy them so that you don't have to. And that is the reason why that is the title on my thumbnail. And that's also the title of this video. I bought it so that I can share with you my first impressions on it. Does it feel luxurious? Does it remotely feel like it should spending that kind of money on something like this? I bought it so that you don't have to. I bought the five pan well palette and this is $16. You can buy a three well palette for $12 and then the single is 10. It's a tin case, okay? And let me just show you how ridiculous this is. Um, the, it won't even stay open. It kind of reminds me of the ridiculous packaging from Hermes Blushes, this cheap little plastic that they thought that was really gonna well, like blow our minds. Yeah, no. Whatever well palette you decide to buy, then you buy the single shadows. That's where it gets pricey because each one of those single shadows are $29 for one gram. So you're paying $29 per gram. So this entire palette pop cost me $161. Now, you're probably asking, well, how do the shadows work? If they're $29 for one gram, they must be like unbelievable. Now, they're not, they're not anything different than what we have. I bought three mattes, I bought a shimmer, and I bought a metallic formula. They are absolutely nothing different than what we already have from amazing brands, from mid to high-end luxury makeup. But Hourglass is starting to really truly convince me that whoever is running the show, they need to be fired. They have amazing products in their collection. They have amazing powders, they have amazing blush, bronzers, beautiful, beautiful products, but they have lost their minds. <sighs> I gotta take a breath here because I gotta breathe. This is ridiculous, you guys. Please do not spend your hard-earned money on this. I beg you from every depth of my soul, please do not buy these. There is nothing luxurious about this. This palette is not even worth $50. Here's the thing. Speaking of a palette that's $50, this is an hourglass palette. This is from their graphic line, and this is in the shade Ravine. This is $58. Guess how many grams are in this little palette? You get seven grams for $58. So you pay $8.29 per gram for this palette. So I want Hourglass to answer me this question. How did this palette and this quality in this eyeshadow, which is a great quality eyeshadow, by the way, it works great, I love it. It, sa it sits right up here because I use it quite frequently. Okay, answer me this, Hourglass. How in the hell did your formula go from being worth $8.29 per gram to $29 per gram? They over and over and over and over slap us in the face. They are slapping customers in the face. They are manipulating customers. This is so ridiculous on every level. Please do not buy this palette, you guys. Please do not. This is not worth the price that they are asking for this. In all fairness to Hourglass, I want to share with you my first impressions of this. Share with you how I created this eyeshadow look. Sharing my experience of the shadows and how they apply. In all fairness, because I do review makeup. I do, that is my job, okay? That is what I do here behind this camera. These shades are fine. Their quality's good, it works, but it is not luxurious. It is nothing like the experience that I had when I bought the Victoria Beckham collection. When I opened these up, these are luxurious. They feel luxurious, you open them, they look beautiful, they're heavy, they're weighty. I review a lot of luxury makeup and I know the difference between a luxurious experience. This palette, it's a tin can, it's a lunchbox. I have a palette in my collection that is not worth $100, but I love it and I enjoy it. It is the Surat Beauty Beyond Beige Palette. I love the textures of the powders and I don't have anything like it in my collection when it comes to the way that those shimmers blend on my crease, the way that they build texture. 
They're silky and like a cashmere feeling to them. I can't explain it, but they are unbelievable. And I know that the $100 was ridiculous, but because I love the formula so much and the formula is so unique to anything that I have, I, I love it and I don't regret buying it. This, these shadows are exactly like what we already have. In fact, the Tarte Juicy Amazonian Clay Palette. I love that palette. That is my favorite palette that I have purchased so far in the year of 2021. It was a $45 palette for all of those shades and it's stunning. Love that palette. The shades are super buttery and blend beautifully. The shimmers are sparkly and I could create this exact look using that palette. The mattes in this palette are buttery. They blend beautifully. The shimmers, great. The metallic, great. But they're nothing different than what we don't already have from other brands. Now, here's the thing. We know that the uh, Pat McGrath Mothership palettes, they're expensive, right? They're like, what, $125 a palette for 10 shades? But let's just remember that four of those shades are some of the prettiest shades out on the market, period. And Pat McGrath is a artist and she's a genius. She's creating these textures that are something different that we can't get from other brands. There is absolutely nothing in this palette that is that. Nothing. There is nothing in this palette that is that is a different texture or gives you a different experience. Nothing. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the footage of my first impressions of this. And we're gonna jump into me using and applying these shadows on my eyes. Let's go ahead and jump into the footage, my first impressions, playing with the eyeshadows and all of that. So I will see you guys in my final thoughts. Let's go ahead and open this up for the first time. And it's kind of a tin casing. Kind of, I'm going to, I'm going to be honest, very cheap. This, so cheap. Look at this. Like, it won't stay open. You know how, okay, for example, let me, let me show you next to this. So this is from Victoria Beckham. This is very luxurious. This is heavy, solid. This, like, folds really good. It pops up. Okay. This just flops. It's like a little flopper. So cheap, not luxurious at all. So it has this plastic on the inside with a mirror and it just shuts. So this is how the little individual shadows come. This is $29. Pop it in there. Like they've got to pop in there somehow. Hourglass. This is the stupidest thing you guys have ever made in your lives. Whoever had this idea should be slapped. Okay, so there is a way to get them in and make and kind of push them in there so they stay in there. I finally got this one to stay in. So what you have to do is there's these little grooves right here in the actual palette. And then there's these little grooves inside here. So you kind of line it up and then like push it down in. So you kind of, uh, I don't know if I can do it in this angle, but I'll try. So you kind of line it up like that and then you kind of push down on it. So that's how you keep them in. I will list all of the shades. So I'm going to leave this palette like this and in the description box down below, I will list the shades from left to right so that you know. In this palette, I got three mattes. So this is the shade Neo and then we have Pro right here. And this is a shimmer shade and this is in the shade B. This is another matte. This is in the shade Opt. And this shade right here is a metallic shade and that shade is the shade Pry. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this shade right here which is the shade Neo. I'm gonna put that in the crease just to kind of see what the color is. Now, I don't have any concealer on yet because I didn't know if I was gonna get any fallout from these shades. So I decided to, um, so I decided to kind of wait. So this shade, you know, for my skin tone, this shade builds pretty good. It does have like a nice soft texture to it. It does build pretty good, but that's probably as deep as I'm going to go on my skin tone with that shade. Okay. So now I'm going to go in to the next shade, which is Pro. So I'm going to grab this shade right here. I'm just going to put that kind of like over top of that shade kind of just there in the crease. Okay. 
Next up, I'm gonna grab this metallic shade, which is the shade Pry, and put that right there on the inner corner. That is a pretty shade, but I definitely have this shade from other uh, palettes. It's pretty, it, it is a good quality metallic. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna go into this matte shade right here, which is the shade Opt. I am going to put that right kind of here on the outer corner, just to kind of deepen it up a little bit as a base, because I'm gonna go in with that other uh, shimmer shade, which is a little bit more of like a purple shade. Now I'm gonna grab the shade B, which is a shimmer shade. Okay, I'm gonna grab my blending brush and I'm gonna go into the first matte, which is Neo. Blend everything together here on the crease. Okay, so I went ahead and added concealer. Let's go on to the lower lash line. I'm gonna pretty much do the same steps on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna grab this shade right here and I'm gonna just put that on the lower lash line, kind of bringing it out. I am gonna build that a little bit. And then I am going to grab this shade right here and kind of smoke that into that shade, kind of keeping it close to the lash line. Then I'm gonna take the Smith 220 brush. It's a big brush, I just got it, I've really enjoyed it. And I'm gonna grab this matte right here. I'm gonna softly kind of buff this in to this outer corner. I'm also going to bring that up here on the upper lash line. Kind of. Okay, so this is the final look and this eyeshadow look turned out really pretty. It was very easy to use. All of the shades blended really pretty. I did get more fallout with the metallic shade on this eye than I did on this eye. So it does seem like the metallic shade and the shimmer shade does have some fallout. As far as the mattes, I didn't really experience any fallout, but they do feel like they're a very soft kind of buttery formula as far as the mattes go. So let's go ahead and jump into the swatches. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this palette of the shades that I chose, and then we will get into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. Let me go ahead and get into my final thoughts. Of course we know that the price is bonkers. Absolutely ridiculous, okay? But let's put the price to the side and let's just talk about the overall packaging and the design of it. Even though we know it's a very expensive palette, this is nothing that I expected. The Hourglass, they have a very beautiful presentation. All of the packaging that I have, even though it's not like a metal packaging or anything super, super luxe, but they do have really beautiful packaging. This is just not pretty in my opinion. It feels very cheap. I am not impressed with the overall presentation of the actual products and the casing and then popping the shades in there and they should have been magnetized. This should have been much more luxurious than it is. I just don't understand it. Why Why the price for this? I, I, I mean, it doesn't justify the price. It reminds me of the Hermes blushes. They just were ridiculously priced and the packaging was just this cheap plastic. They lost their ever love in mind with these blushes. Putting out something so cheap and plasticky just to have this Hermes symbol on it, I mean, come on, it's ridiculous. But when you pick it up, it doesn't feel luxurious. That's how this is. This doesn't feel luxurious to me. I'm here to tell you, if you were even remotely tempted to buy this Hourglass palette, do not. It is not worth the money that they're asking for it. The quality is good, yes, but do you? there are so many great quality products out in the market that are half the price of this palette so much better. I mean, this is the most ridiculously priced product I've ever bought in the history of buying makeup, period. And it is not necessary on any level to buy something like this. I bought it so that you didn't have to. A lot of you guys reached out and said, yeah, th this is ridiculously priced, but I'm so curious. 
why the price tag is there. So here we are. There is no reason for the price tag, zero reason. So those are my overall thoughts. Sound off down below in the comment section. Let's just have a conversation. Has Hourglass truly lost their minds? Because I'm starting to wonder because this is insanity. Let us know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you, bye.